these families have nowhere to go. Their possessions reduced to the items they can carry. They're among tens of thousands of people in Democratic Republic of Congo who've been forced to leave their homes. It's now too dangerous to stay in their village as fighting between troops and M23 rebels comes closer. The M23 fighters were shooting bullets all over our village in North Kivu province. That's why we had to flee. We had to in order to stay alive. For many, a makeshift shelter is now home, and it's difficult to find food. <laughs> Stories of violence are shared every day. It was one o'clock in the morning. When we first heard gunshots, we had to flee because the situation became unbearable. The fighting has destabilized a Central African country. It has accused its neighbor, Rwanda, of backing the rebels to gain control of strategic regions. The armed group is one of many in eastern DR Congo. It's resurfaced and sees more territory after years of being dormant forcing people out. We estimate that at least 40,000 people are already displaced, and that just accounts for people coming from the town of Ruchuru. Right now we're in a camp not far from Goma, but as we speak, people are still arriving. We see families on motorbikes with their children, with their cattle and goats. It's a very difficult situation. The government is no longer just facing the threat of the armed group, but with coping with entire villages of people who've lost everything. Katia Lopez Odoyan, Al Jazeera.